Xin chào, what's up everybody? We're in Tan Phu, pretty much a suburb. We're at the Aeon Mall, but first we're gonna walk around the neighborhood here because I've never walked around Tan Phu and see what it looks like. So let's jump right into it. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. We're all blessed to be here on this mighty planet. So as you can see, which we'll talk about in the Aeon Mall video, malls are a thing here. So that's what that whole video is gonna be about, so we're not gonna talk about that much. You can walk through the middle here, but a metal gate it's okay we'll throw the dong over the gate no big deal this place is usually gets super packed on the weekends I'm just gonna go walk around this neighborhood right here I'm surprised how busy it is today during the day at uh, 2 p.m. it's about 2 p.m. oh I'm barely tall enough to get over this one all right, they got a little coffee shop over here. Pretty nice. They probably do good business from the uh, AM mall. Like, uh, a dad or a husband doesn't want to go in shopping. Sit out here in Cancun. Maybe we'll try to find some street food. If not, we'll eat something in. Uh, Hey, I'm all and piss off all the people. Why aren't you eating Vietnamese food? You're in Vietnam. It's all you should eat for the rest of your life as long as you live there. How dare you have fried chicken? How dare you? We got a bridal. If you don't know, marriage is such a big business here. Opening up one of those marriage halls, I'd say, would be tremendous business. They charge like about $10,000 with the food. And you know food overhead is not large at all. But they charge about $10,000 and a wedding is like an uh, hour and 40 minutes. And they, they pack like every hall and they're just running them back to back. So they're making serious money per day if you're a good wedding hall. And it's relatively simple. You just get a bunch of like high school staff, you know. It's, it's not, it's not hard. So never walked around Tan Fu. It is far away from uh, the center of Saigon or even kind of anywhere. Definitely a suburb. It takes about 30 minutes on bike and about 40 minutes by car. I'd roughly say we got a couple of kindergartens over here. Fancy garage shop. Of course, playing loud Vina House. This is the way. I see a lot of people are complaining about Mandalorian this year. Spoiler warnings for Mandalorian if you're not watching this season. Spoiler. So don't listen to what I'm about to say. I think it's been pretty good. I didn't like that he handed the Darksaber over to Bo Katan. I don't want to see Bo Katan take over as the Mandalorian. I don't watch The Mandalorian for Bo Katan, although I do love Bo Katan. She was great in Battlestar Galactica. I don't need Starbucks back in my life, though, as, as a showrunner, essentially. So if they do do something stupid in this last episode and, like, kill Mando off, I'm done. I'm not watching. I'm not watching the Grogu in uh, Bo Katan show. We're all here for Pedro, and I guess Pedro has been fighting with them a lot. Like, he didn't want to do the whole redemption for the helmet arc. He wanted to go the other way and have his helmet off more. As I probably would do if I was him. Yeah, let's go this way. So I kind of, I think there's some internal fighting like we had with Henry Cavill at The Witcher, which I will not be tuning in for any of the new Witcher. I could care less about a Hemsworth being a Witcher. And they're so deviated from the books now. I'm not interested. You know, you could have had a crazy IPO franchise with The Witcher if you just followed the fucking books. That's all you had to do. Henry Cavill was great as The Witcher. Now, I do have my reservations about Henry Cavill. I don't think he was the greatest Superman. I agree with James Gunn on the recast of that. I'm not mad about that. The Rock sucked in his movie, his superhero movie. So I agree with the reboot from the the DC side. The Snyder Cut was good, but 
These are just my thoughts. Because I'm a little bit of a nerd. But, I mean, I think... I think what they're going to do is kill Mando off. I'll be very surprised if he lives. If they don't get him back the lightsaber and he becomes the main thing, kind of ditch this whole Bo-Katan shit, you're going to lose a lot of people. Quiet little neighborhood here. It's right by the airport, so we get the lovely sound of planes landing all the time. You can probably get a place out here really, really cheap. This is a non-walkable uh, neighborhood. This guy is not easy to walk. I think they call this Selder Town. It's some kind of town, some new city type deal. We'll, go, we'll walk straight ahead here. Go we'll check it out. Kilo Dong and the girls in the short skirts, this is always how they hire. You know, it's easier to sell a guy's shit when the chick's hot. This is just business 101 though. Yeah, I think we'll go walk down here and see what the Celadon city is. Got some guys doing some crabs, shellfish, the old water cleaning technique. Just doesn't do much but in their heads it does, so. The Americans do that shit too, hosing down the, the driveway. Hose it down, hose it down. So I don't know, we see Mandalorian's got a lot of uh, weight on its shoulder for the last uh, episode of this season. I think it comes out tonight, right? I don't know. And then you've also got, you know, I like some Apple TV shows. M, M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan had a really good show called The Servant that wrapped up. I liked the ending. I guess many people didn't. I mean, I thought it all made sense. Shout out. If you watch The Servant, let me know in the comments. Let me know what TV shows you watch right now and which ones you're liking. I think the best Star Wars show of in recent times has been the Andor. And then of course the best show I've seen this year is Beef on Netflix. Beef on Netflix was amazing. Especially if you've lived in LA and done contracting work, like essentially kind of what I did for a large chunk of time, it, it hits it right on the head. Yeah, I don't know what Celadon City is, but Let's look. I'm going to guess it's like a lot of uh, proposed housing projects. Just some interesting news over on the Masteries project. The uh, Masteries Marriott super fancy project. It appears to me that they stopped construction on a whole part of it. So they're now just focusing on the three towers they've been selling pre-units to. And they stopped construction and they ripped off all their siding stuff on the whole other project they were doing. So I think Masteries has already run out of funding from what it looks like to me. I doubt that they will get finished. I talked to a buddy, not a buddy, I just randomly met a guy when I was doing a tour that's an architect and he works on all the buildings and he doesn't even think the first Masteries building will get done. The one He's like, they're just putting glass up, dude, and they're just finishing the outside. Look at the first floor, there's nothing done. There would be shit done already. And he said the build quality is pretty poor on it, too. The interesting thing, he said like the Mark was the best build quality, but it's so expensive. I'm like, yeah, but who's gonna pay? You know, it's like, it starts at 1650 for a two bedroom with no furniture. Like a furnished two bedroom is, 2,000 UST. I'm like, who's gonna pay that? Like, I'm like, go look at their inventory. They've got like 100 apartments available. Like half the place is vacant because no one's gonna... Okay, let's see what's sell. So they plan on building a bunch of condos. 
They always got these fancy pictures. You know, the success rate of these condos is very low here. I would not buy into it if I was you. I mean, you can do what you want, but holy Christ. There's a corporate office. There's a sports and resort club. So there's a sales gallery, of course. So they're going to try to pre-sell you on this crap. It doesn't even look like it's called Sell It On City now. It looks like it's called Guma. Guma da Land. So this is, how, this is how this stuff goes. It's absolutely wild. Um, you know, one company will start it. Probably that Caledon thing. They'll try to pre-sell stuff. They'll pre-sell stuff. They'll start to build stuff. It gets like... 50% through and then it's done and then they sit for two years and then some other company buys it races to finish it they fail sits again sell again sit again sell again sit again sell again it seems to be some kind of scam in my opinion some kind of Ponzi type scheme I don't think you get your money back if you do a pre-buy and, and they sell it off. I don't know how that works. I tried to get some information out of the lady that showed me the the masteries, what would have been Lux 7, uh, which is now the the uh, masteries Marriott, I don't know what the hell they call it, River View building. I'm like, so what about the people that already pre-bought? on the Golden River project. Are they just out or were they applied their pre-buy to this? And then, and she wouldn't give me any information. She's like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, you don't know. Okay, sure you don't know. Sure, sure you don't know. This is very nice. It looks pretty lush and pretty. It does look very nice. We'll give it that. I wanted to walk around this little city because we could walk around Tanfu, but it's, or, yeah, it's just gonna look like a lot of the other places we walk around. There's another little city someone wants me to go look at like this that we'll do. I'm always curious to see these. I can't even see over this wall and I don't see any building, so let's see if we can peek in somewhere. If, if they even did foundations for any of this stuff. Is it even open still? I don't hear any construction work, so it sounds like it's already shut, shut, shut. Which is how this stuff goes. They hide it all from you. They try to. Oh, this one's open. It says a parking. Oh, they've done nothing here. Look at this. It's just a hope and a dream right now. It's a lot of empty space, though. You could definitely do something here. Oh, I doubt Guma Land is happening. They don't even have a found. They haven't even started a building. So where is it like Guma Land? So yeah, it's Guma Land now. Oh, it always was. Okay, correction. So it hasn't switched hands. I was wrong. It's on the sign. I just didn't see it on the bottom. It always been Guma Land. I know nothing about the construction over here. If you do know about this cell vault. Sell it on city. Let, let me know in the comments. Let us all know. And I'm not going to research it because I would never live here. So to me, it's a mute point. I'm absolutely a hard pass on suburb living. I've done it before. It's absolutely terrible. You can couldn't convince me in a million years. You can try to tell me all your tales of how you save so much money. I don't care. You're wasting time every time you want to go somewhere because you're in the middle of but fuck nowhere. And that's facts. This looks like the show floor. We'll kind of make a box. This is very lush and very nice. It, it's pretty garbage free as well. So I mean, it's quiet. This would be a good spot to build a condo. And the commute here is nasty. It's not a fun commute. I just came in dead traffic and it's like the problem with uh, the uh, Duduk City, the, the Vin Homes over there. Getting there is insane. Getting and leaving is no fun. It's, it's not fun. The roads are not made to go that far out. And like they got semis going on them. Like it's a terrible drive. It's not safe either. 
Oh, here's a sports and resort club. So if you didn't know, I think badminton is the national sport over footy. More people play badminton than they do uh, footy. I don't think there's much point in walking more past down here. So this is the sports club right here. Oh, here's where they're building. So let's go check that out. Oh, they got them pretty tall already. So let's see if the cranes are still there. Let's see if there's an active construction site. Are they still building it? I don't see any crane movement right now. And it's wild to me, they'll leave that crane up there. And those cranes cost so much per month. They're not free to have per month. Like the one at the, what was originally a Hilton and then became a Masteries, another Masteries Marriott, a fancy project across from Benton Market, has now had zero construction work. All the Masteries stuff pulled off of it and the cranes have sat there for a year. It's been wild. I don't even know if I can get down here. They look like they've got this all constructioned off. So let's take, oh yeah, so we got a crew up there working. Okay, so whatever these are, which are Gumadas, I'm guessing, they're still getting worked on. And I don't know how tall they're gonna go, but usually your typical build is 25 to 30 stories. And that looks about at 25 to 28 right now. So they've still got full construction on site here. That's good. Probably all the parking could have tipped me off to that and the construction parking over here, but hey, I'm a little slow. I don't think I can walk down here. I can try. We can always try anything. I see. Guard down here. Let's try to go this way. Here's how these areas would work for someone. If you are someone that absolutely doesn't need to go anywhere, like for real, and you cook a lot for yourself at home here, that wouldn't be a problem. It's the one good thing you're gonna have about this area if you lived here. Oh, they got this hall. There's no way I'm getting in there. Maybe. Let's give it a try. Let's just walk. Because I kind of want to get down here and see what these are. If you're somebody that seriously just stays at home, this could be fine. If you don't need access to go anywhere, and you're like you're rarely going to the center of the city but then this to me begs the whole question is why are you even here if you need to live this far out and you don't need anything why even live in the city at all why even a suburb why not just go live somewhere rural where it's even cheaper so those are the things that go through my head but i guess if you were a digital nomad and you don't mind that because that that's loud you're gonna hear that in your apartment if you don't mind these things and you're down to save money and you're just at a super homebody okay I, i'm but i'm with you on this what is this this is diamond city let's see boom da 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 let's see if i was right about the height oh, i think i'm a little off they're at the 16th floor because they number them i don't know why they number them so far away but they do looks like the bottom part's been done for quite a while 8 10 12 13 14 15 those are 15. oh i didn't predict these ones the one in blues i can't see reaching new peaks peacefully okay so this kind of looks like you know a lot of the shit we see in District 2, these little mega cities. But we also are seeing, you know, they're building these all over. But you see a lot of these in District 2. District 7 has a good healthy amount of these too. Diamond Century. Oh, she's taking a run in the park. She's doing yoga. Let's go, baby. I wonder if anybody bought these yet. Okay, so they're just finishing these bottom ones. So these are going to be turnkey soon. So if you bought this project, you got, this is very nice. I will say this looks very nice. This actually might get a lot of the way finished. 
And then you've got a whole little city here. What would make this good and attractive is you've got AM Mall there. Right here. You got AM Mall in like a five minute walk from here. So this is all sell along. This is the Diamond. There's going to be a resort here. I don't know how many people would want to go to a resort here, but maybe resort style living. That would be probably their, your idea. You know, the problem with Vietnamese builds too is they don't age well. You know, I think Golden River is six years old now. And by the time we left, there was lots of shit that was falling apart in that apartment. And we took good care of it. Like granted, the lady Airbnb'd the place before we moved in. So it had some extensive wear and tear. And I will say the first apartment we had had zero wear and tear because we were the first people to live in. And I take very good care of some. Uh, there's no finishes done on them. So they do this to let the, whoever they let company wise in, come and put like a McDonald's in or whatever. They leave it unfinished so they can kind of set it up however they want. So it's going to be all commercial on the bottom. And then this looks to me to where like units start. Somebody's living in this one. This one up here. She's got a custom. Yeah, she's got something on the porch. So you can actually live in these now. <coughs> Let's walk down a little bit more. Kind of curious to see the rest of this. The architecture is very well. The, the little cages on the outside, they look really nice. The walls look good. There are people living here. Not many. Yeah, I see another apartment where people are moved in. Looks like these go are probably going to go to the 16th, 18th floor on both sides. I don't know how much higher. It could be the peak of them right there. Oh yeah, let's. we can just look at the pictures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the pictures show 14 floors. So this is probably the, the tops. The place is massive. Can you see how far down this goes? And they're already taking care of the plants. So it looks like if you wanted to live somewhere cheap right now, you could look at this diamond thing, this Gumado, Gumado land. If someone wants to look it up and find out how much an apartment here is and put it in the comments, you can see a pool up here. So that's going to be a pool right there. I can see the infin infinity edge. We'll walk up to the front and then we'll call it a video. I wonder if uh, Aeon has any investment into this. AM Mall is a Japanese mall, Japanese brands of mall. They're, they're in all over Southeast Asia, Cambodia, here. They're going to build another one here. I forgot what district. It'd be great if they built one in District 1. It would do amazing. But you need so much land because there's such a bigger mall, as you'll see when we get in there. It's just a way more enormous mall than your standard mall. Diamond, baby. Oh, wow. So there's really finished units over here where I see people got house plants. They've been living there a while. So this diamond alent. Uh, Alna? Alnada? I don't know what they were going to try to spell there, but. So this one must just be newly finished. Because you can see they've rented out some commercial space. This is going to be a school. They've got the little school hat up. Oh, these are cool. So these are observation decks. So you can sit out there and observe from the deck. You know, Playa Vista in uh, Los Angeles looks a whole lot like this. They built like these mini cities. And you know who will move here is families. You'll get a shit ton of families move here. This place will be successful. I promise. It will be very successful and it will finish. So for whatever shit I was talking in the beginning, I was wrong as I got to see the scope of this project and how big it actually is. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys keep asking for new content. Guess what? That's the whole week this week is new content. I'm focusing on you and making you happy. 
Of course, if you want to go on a tour, if you want access to me, sign up for the Patreon. We've just been exploding on Patreon. I think we're over 65 people now or close to it. When I started this whole deal of talking about Patreon, I think we were at 29 or 30, maybe 35. So the numbers have been explosive. The tours have been amazing. If you are watching and have taken a tour, let them know in the comments. It was great. Um, I've been scheduling tours left and right. So if you want to get, get on that, get on it. You know, we can do any kind of tour you want. We can do a daytime food tour. We can do a nighttime cocktail tour of hidden bars. We can do a uh, definitive nightlife for a man. You know, we can do whatever, whatever kind of bars you want to go to. You just tell me when we meet up, then we go from there. So that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a fun time making it. I love walking around new areas. I love talking about stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it'd be really awesome if you subscribe to my channel. Drop a comment and smash that like button. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day. See you on the next one. Stay frosty. Peace out.